Just Becky Taylor. Well, we do have a look out of our Manhattan camera for you here this afternoon where we're looking off to the north and northeast at that storm just across the border here into Nebraska. That one actually does have a tornado warning associated with it, but it is moving away from us. That's the good news. We are still trying to get some storms developing here in northeast Kansas along the dry line of this system. We're at 86 degrees right now, clearly in the humidity here where we do feel like we're 91 degrees in the capital city. Our dew points are fairly high. They're near 70 in the eastern half of the area but feeling much more comfortable back towards the west. So you can see those storms uh, kind of firing up here this afternoon, moving to the north and east, and we're starting to see a couple little storms trying to get going, or at least a couple showers uh, throughout portions of the area here. This storm in southern Lyon County may pack a little bit of a punch. We're not really seeing a whole lot of lightning with that just yet, but as we get deeper into the evening, we may see these become just a little bit more numerous, maybe get a little bit stronger as we start to get our cap uh, going away for us here tonight. So this is a look at future track starting at 6 p.m. Could have a few isolated storms here and there throughout the eastern half of the area. Those really quickly push off to the east too. So once the sun goes down, we'll really start to see those exiting the area. And once they do, our storm chances are done here for tonight. So the best chance to see those storms uh, is mostly just in the eastern half of the area. Western half of the area, Marysville, Manhattan, Junction City. You guys are in the clear and points off to the west. So as we go throughout the night, we'll likely see uh, some areas of clouds moving through, waking up early tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. That'll be the case through the daytime tomorrow too, but good news for graduations across the area. We're not expecting any rain tomorrow. It is just going to be on the warmer side of things though through the afternoon. A few showers do start to develop into the early morning hours of Sunday, so waking up early Sunday morning could have a few light rain showers here and there across the area, and we may see some areas of sprinkles, some light rain uh, continuing into the early afternoon on Sunday. Temperatures are in the mid to even upper 80s where we have that drier air in place. We have managed to warm up just a little bit more 89 degrees in Manhattan Junction City too. What you are seeing is what you get. You don't have as much humidity in the air, so not really dealing with much of a heat index here. 86 degrees in Topeka, Burlington and Emporia and we're at 84 in Lawrence and Hiawatha. Now later on this evening, we'll likely see our temperatures dropping back into the lower 60s across northeast Kansas and then warming up again tomorrow into the mid to even upper 80s again. The best part about tomorrow, too, is that we're going to be seeing a lot less humidity and a little bit less wind. So our wind speeds are currently running anywhere between about 15 and 20 miles per hour. A little bit breezy, and we've got those winds out of the south and southwest, and that's what's really allowed us to warm up here today. Now those winds will continue to back off tonight into tomorrow, becoming fairly light out of the west, about 10 miles per hour throughout the daytime. But there's our dry line that we're watching here this evening as that focus for storm development for us. You can see we've got all of that humidity out in front of it, dew points in the mid to upper 60s, feeling a bit more comfortable back towards the west with our dew points in the 50s there. So as we head throughout the night and into tomorrow, that dry line uh, starts to move through and we'll start to see a lot lower humidity on the way for Saturday. Even though we're gonna be warm tomorrow, that is what's going to make it feel a little bit more comfortable for us throughout the afternoon. We do have that other chance for showers coming up by Sunday, maybe even lingering into Monday as well. And then we're kind of into a very typical late spring like pattern here where we do have a couple isolated hit or miss chances for showers and storms pretty much each and every day next week. Not going to be a total washout. Temperatures though do get much nicer heading into Monday and Tuesday. We'll be in those 70s. Yeah, how about that with June, July and August ahead of us to get 70s and mid